Is C Sharp worth learning in 2024? You reach the right video. Let me explain. This video was brought to you by DigiLink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure salary you desire. Our 30 day project course includes our JavaScript front end projects, our Python back end projects, our SQL database projects, and much, much more. So go ahead and click the link below to our free seven step guide so that you can start reaching your programming goals today. I'll see you guys in the course. All right, guys, let's get right into this. C Sharp, is it worth learning in 2024? Yes. C Sharp is one of those enterprise level languages that's going to really get you in a position so that you can actually win, create projects, and really put you on that career course that you want in that entry level job that you want as well, guys. Uh, one of the things that you got to understand about C Sharp that it got a lot of benefits going forward. It got a lot of things going forward. I'll go over this later in the video to kind of give you details on why you're picking the right program language the pros and cons and really put you in a position so that your expectations are in order about what you're getting into learning C sharp and should you learn it and what results you should get so before we get started guys comment below about your current situation are you struggling trying to learn how to program you don't have a roadmap C sharp has just been killing you Put that in the uh, in the comment section, guys. I'm I'm wanting to get more, learn more about my audience, what they're struggling with, so I can make specific videos for you guys. And um, one way of doing it to start the conversation below about the different areas you struggle with learning C sharp, and then we go from there. So let's comment below and um, get a conversation started. That being said, guys, C sharp is a good pick. Um, let's just go over the pros first. <clears throat> it's a good pick. Um, it's a relatively popular compared to everything else. It's backed by Microsoft, it's in demand, it got market share. It's relatively new compared to other programming languages. It's always being updated, got a lot of things going for it. So it's not that many, pro, uh, it's, it's not that many cons related to it as far as its market share and all that. But in relation to other program language, and this is where we're going to the cons of it, is it is a little harder to learn, you know, compared to PHP, Python. You need to require a little bit more setup on your computer to get it going. Um, if you're gonna really implement it in a in an enterprise capacity, it requires a little bit more resources than a, uh, I would say a Python, a PHP, JavaScript, things like that. Because once you get into those um, Pythons and PHPs and all that, it mostly requires a web browser or a desktop computer. Once you start to get into the C sharp world, you start to talk about enterprise level development. <clears throat> You're talking about multiple, multiple, multiple developers working on one project, um, Visual Studio Code instances, GitHubs, all that stuff. But again, if you're just talking about one developer learning how to program C, uh, C sharp, then you're in good shape. But I have to warn you guys, um, I personally, when I'm starting off C sharp, uh, unless you just want to learn C sharp, it probably wouldn't be the first programming language I would learn. Um, if you just a brand new developer, I would lean toward PHP and uh, I would lean towards Python or JavaScript only because I want you to get those early wins. I want you to really grasp it pretty quickly and be able to um, have the ability to build something quickly to build that confidence level. Once you understand those fundamentals and just get, get the general concept of a programming language, then we get into the C sharp. And then you can kind of see, okay, I know the difference between a, a enterprise level language <clears throat> and the standard language. Not that you can't use the other ones in enterprise environment, but C sharp was made for enterprise development and Microsoft stands by it. A lot of uh, operating system components, a lot of graphics, gaming, all that stuff. <clears throat> you're gonna be in a really put good position once you learn C sharp. It's just that for you beginners, people who are trying to get started, if you don't have any experience, maybe you even working in a different industry, thinking about landing a programming job or getting into programming, that's who the people I'm talking about are probably gonna struggle at the beginning. Again, at the beginning. And uh, we talk about very good learning strategies. I can't go over everything in this video, guys, but what I can do <clears throat> is make sure you get on the right track, right roadmap, so that you know how to navigate the programming world with uh, C Sharp. So links below for my seven step guide. Go ahead and check that out. <clears throat> we really give you all the details you need to start your career as a C Sharp developer, put you in position to win. So 
go ahead and cut um links below for that and if you already uh, clicked on the seven step guide we have a 30-day developer c-sharp course guys that's going to help you take your skills to the next level put you in a position to win links for, uh, below for that <clears throat> we got good prices go ahead and check that out guys but at the end of the day it really comes down to two things as far as just, well it comes down to a couple of things but we'll cover just uh two or three on this video you have to have the ability to learn um you have to have the ability to do projects <clears throat> if you're not doing projects uh learning while you're doing projects it, <laughs> we're wasting our time and we want to make sure you are actually doing projects that a company want guys there's a difference between the training hello world calculator apps all the training projects and what a client actually wants that's the biggest difference i want to help you guys with that obviously we talk about that more in the academy and on the seven step guide but at the end of the day we have to showcase your value being the number two thing guys because once you get your projects showcasing your value um once you get into it this plays a role into other areas as well we're just talking about it in a career sense showcasing your value can be you communicating with your team about hey why are you doing code this way why do you insert this how do you debug it you are solving bigger problems you are communicating why you are solving these problems and how it would benefit the company and also it's in written form you know from a documentation standpoint you go in your code you can see where you come in it uh, you have commented notes on each code why it's there what it's doing um if you take it out what's gonna break that kind of stuff like that we don't need elaborate details we just need to know what your code is doing and then you have additional documentation, obviously, in your repo so that uh, another developer, another team member would know what you got going on. That's going to be critical when you're doing C Sharp development, because nine times out of 10, more people are going to be looking at your code because the enterprise language, you're just in that enterprise environment. You're just not silo one developer a lot of times. So it's going to be critical that you get the habit of documentation. There's lots of different forms of documentation, but let's just start documenting, um, putting, organize your code in a way that's standard to that particular company. Um, finding out how they put notes in their code. Come, they, some people put it up top, some people put, put it in between the code on the end. Just, just be consistent with what that company's doing. And if that company's not, you got that's your opportunity to start to implement some best practices when it comes to commenting out code and all that good stuff, guys. But at the end of the day, I can really cover this topic really in depth. I can't make this video two hours long, but what I will do is give you resources that would go into detail below um, for C Sharp developers. And congratulations, guys. You can't pick the you you couldn't pick a better language as far as just in demand scalable uh, backed by a major organization this is in, along the lines of java um, c uh c plus plus you can't go wrong especially once you learn this program language and you know how to showcase your skills and you do everything we tell you guys to do in our seven step guide you are on the road to success it's just a matter of building impactful projects and we have those in our seven step guys so if you haven't already guys links are below to all the goodies like subscribe to the content if you have any questions comment below about your current situation i'll see you guys in the next video peace